Pope Francis proclaimed an extraordinary Holy Year of Mercy. This Holy Year will commence on the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception and will conclude on Sunday, November 20th, 2016, the Solemnity of Our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. But the Holy Father proclaimed this year is a surprise, but also not in a certain way. Since he made mercy one of the main topics of his pontificate, it is more like a natural continuation of his attitude. Therefore, it is more like a logical step that the Holy Father has taken here. Over the centuries, every holy year has left its mark on Rome. A beautiful reminder of this is a little mailbox in the center of Rome. The coming holy year is a year of mercy. But actually every holy year is a year of mercy, since the initial intention was reconciliation and penitence, a reconciliation with God. Also within the city there was a lot of initiatives during the holy year. Pilgrims were fed for free, were received by all classes of society. Roman princesses and empresses had served in hospitals and hospices, but also helped distributing food. There were other moments of mercy as well. We can find, for example, in the Via delle Copelle, a kind of mailbox. You could put letters in it with addresses of sick pilgrims. And then a special department of the Vatican could care for these pilgrims and attend them. The theme of mercy, therefore, has been always present. With the extraordinary Holy Year, this theme will be continued. This is also visible in the official logo of the Year of Mercy. The logo and the motto together provide a fitting summary of what the Jubilee Year is all about. The motto, Merciful like the Father. The logo is a work of the Jesuit father Marco Rupnik. God looks at man so that man may understand. He communicates himself in a way that man can understand it. That which God sees is also what man sees. Man begins to see how God sees, and that is the divinity of Christ. So we can understand that Christ has truly assumed the whole reality of man. The color code follows the ancient rules of iconography and includes red for the divinity of God, blue the color of man, the only creature able to see the sky, white, the color of the Holy Spirit, and finally black, the color of death and the end of earthly things.